Martin Luther King Jr. Day, read to you by Carol Brigham. The third Monday in January is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. This year, it is January 17. Post offices and federal offices are closed. Some schools and business places are closed. Martin Luther King Jr. worked all of his life for equal rights for black people and poor people. Segregation. Before 1955, 16 southern states had laws to separate black people from white people in schools, trains, buses, and theaters. There were separate public restrooms and separate water fountains. White people sat in the front of the buses and black people sat in the back. Many hotels, restaurants, swimming pools, and parks were for white people only. Black people in those states could not register to vote, so they could not change the laws. The Montgomery Bus Boycott One day in 1955, in Montgomery, Alabama, police arrested a black woman named Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks had refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white person. That night, the black people of Montgomery decided to stop riding the buses. They chose Martin Luther King Jr. to lead their boycott. King was 26 years old. The police arrested King, but the boycott continued. People walked to work or used carpools. Bus companies lost a lot of money. After one long year, Congress passed a new federal law. It ended segregation on buses all over the South. The Civil Rights Movement Martin Luther King Jr. used nonviolent ways to change laws. The civil rights movement used sit ins, marches, and boycotts. Some people who wanted to keep segregation were very violent. They bombed Martin Luther King Jr.'s home. They bombed black schools and churches. They beat and killed many black people and some white people who helped black people. These events were broadcast on TV news all over the country. People saw the police and police dogs attack the peaceful civil rights marchers. Soon, many people from the North went to the South to help. In 1963, President Kennedy asked Congress to pass a Civil Rights Act. This act would guarantee equal treatment for people of all races. Civil rights groups organized a march on Washington they wanted to put public pressure on the lawmakers. They asked Dr. King to be one of their speakers. On August 28, 1963, 250,000 people went to Washington, D.C. from all over the country. This was the largest number of people that had ever gathered in the nation's capital. King made a very powerful speech. He spoke about his dream for America in which all people are treated as equals. The next year, Congress passed the Civil Rights Act. Dr. King received the Nobel Peace Prize for 1964. King found more work to do. He worked to improve conditions for all poor people, both black and white. He worked to end the war in Vietnam. Between 1957 and 1968, King traveled over 6 million miles and made more than 2,500 speeches. He wrote five books. In 1968, Dr. King was assassinated. He was only 39 years old. Fifteen years later, Congress created a national holiday so Americans will always remember him. There is a monument to honor him on the Mall in Washington, D.C., for more information about Easy English News or to subscribe to our digital or paper copies, visit our website, easyenglishnews.com.